You know, this morning we had a powerful demonstration of mana come on. And as Pini said, the kuhu was lifted. Ngāpuhi has lifted the fog. And ngā mihi kia koutou e tameiti me tūhoi. But in lifting, that, in lifting that fog, their tamatoa came right up. And there was that silent scream. There's a picture that depicts the same thing. And it's worth probably hundreds of thousands or maybe millions now, I have no idea. But the thing is, that silent scream was heard into the party this morning. And there's power in silence. And I just want to remind us that the consistency of the message since the proclamation from the King has been about aroha, aroha, aroha. The messaging from the taumata, the messaging at the iwi chairs was always aroha, the base, aroha, to koirumete aroha, it was expressed in aroha, and we're awaiting the reciprocity of that aroha. Before us and within us and now we are all making history today. Prime Minister, this is the Ngāpuhi nation and this is the nation of Māoridom that have gathered here before you. There was a roll call today. Kia ora Julian. All the rangatira. When the rangatira are here, we also have the blessing of the tohuma. So, kia ora, kia koutou. But that does not mean we do not have our own cultural identity. Kia ora, kia koutou, who sing the waiata when you don't agree. That is tika. But the shouting and the others, that's all part and parcel of the growing of our nation. Honoko te inui. For us of Ngāpuhi, we have our manuhiri to Manaki. So it's fabulous, but just keep it succinct in the waiata, in the cultural norms, taiana. Blessings to everybody and aroha nui kitikatua. Now, my korero was actually, and it has taken our thunder. <laughs> However, Prime Minister, I do not want an undertaking that you are going to settle Ngāpuhi. Ngāpuhi can never be settled. <laughs> never. Not even amongst ourselves, but however. <laughs> we have a united front. We can never settle because we are kaitiaki of Te Whakaputanga and Te Kiriti. What we can have are other solutions. And I'm applauding Winston about, you know, the usage of the real, because rather than using our own language to portray what we want, we want to use, I, I'm referring to the French and the cultural ambassadors were here yesterday. Uh, Rock Rochemore, I think, will ring a bell. It was a time when there was harmonious relationships between us. It was harmonious because here we are today practicing, celebrating what was signed in 1835 and 1840. The days that those two documents were signed, there were harmonious relationships. Immediately after, of course, it's a different story, but there was harmony. And that's the basis that I think that we can draw on to start the conversation with Ngāpuhi. Now, at the Iwi Cheers, I heard you invite us. Invite us to come and talk with you and have this relationship. In front of the motu, I want to accept on behalf of Ngāpuhi, yes, we want to have that relationship with you and talk. No one will die from talking. Well, not that I know of anyway. However, it's a declaration in front of everyone 
because, like your judiciary, they pulled out a report card yesterday that they come to Waitangi with. You and I are going to have a report card, our first report next year, 2025. We will report on what progress we're going to make in this relationship. In this relationship will also include Te Ora e Pepa, an invitation to you, uh, David Seymour, and my new relation, Ya Nicole. Nunga no te panoho as I am, and as a lot of us here who are present are. She is my phenomena and I claim her as my own, with Aroha Nui. And in the spirit of that, I am also asking Mr Prime Minister that they also be included in the corridor because that needs to happen. We don't want them to be exposed out there without talking to us first. And then we can up and navigate all that's happening today in a much more peaceful and loving way, which is what I heard from the Kingi Tanda. And so I want that unity of spirit through Aroha to continue today. I'm going to cut it short because it's been a long day and say, Kiana to everybody, the messaging is no different from Iahui, 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 in our preparation to come together as the Māori nation. We are here under love, under aroha, because only through that do we get unity. Only through aroha. So, iru mai tēnei te kīngi, nihia tana kia koe te mea, nau i tīmata tēnei puku tangake o te aroha nui ki roto i a tātou, ki wainga nui i a tātou, te tahi ki te tahi. And in saying that, I might say that in 1814, when Christianity came into Ngāpuhi, we embraced it. We embraced the spirit of Christianity. There were no principles. It's understood. There are things that are understood with love. And koia tēnei ko tāku kōrero mutunga. That is my takeaway. Continue in love and koto ngā. To, I don't like calling you protesters. You are not a protester in my eye. You are an expression of what we feel and what we have in our hearts at times. We are never perfect. But we must have regard for all our emotions and how we, how we express them. And kia ora kia koto, you have done magnificently today. And I am so proud of you all. Kia ora kia koto.